Okay, welcome back everybody. Uh, we are now going to start the finishing and assembly procedures on our coin banks. Um, the first thing that we're going to do, or the first thing I already did, was um, sanded all the edges down, sanded out all of the reliefs, cleaned them out real nice, and prepped it to make it ready for paint. Um, used various things, Dremel tool, spindle sander, uh, hand sanding, whatever it takes to get the thing sanded down. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to set there in all of these lines here, we're going to fill them in with black, okay, because them are going to be our outlines and our highlights. So we're going to fill them all in black. I'm going to do that with an airbrush. It's a little bit faster and it covers better in those cracks. So I have an airbrush here that I'm going to use for it. And basically all we're going to do is airbrush in all of the cracks. The other thing that I do is I paint the inside of this circle here and the neck and then this circle here I just paint them all black. So I just come in here and I just get them nice and black. This is where really the airbrush comes to, to really be good because it can cover all that area pretty quick. And I'll do the, the neck too. And let's do this here. Water. before, make sure you fill everything in real good. A little tedious, but we'll get it on here. Check to make sure you got everything done on this side and then go to the other side. Then we gotta let it dry. Before we can sand it off. So I'll see you back when it's all dry. Okay, welcome back. Uh, the black is dried. Now we're ready to sand off the excess black. Basically I use a sander here and we just basically sand it off. And then you'll be able to see it.
Turns out pretty decent. Now all we got is a black outline and that's what we want is just a black outline. Now we're ready to start putting our color on. I've got one, I've already put the color on one side and I'm ready to put the color on the other side. How you go about putting the color on is totally up to you. Um, basically what I do is I mix my own colors. I use Crystal Lac products and um, they have a, a mixing tints that you can mix it with and I just mix my own uh, just what I need which is only maybe a couple ounces for these projects and I use a foam brush to brush on the color okay so what I do is get a little color on my palette here so I'll put a little color on my palette put it on my foam brush dab it around a little bit and then just start putting it on spots try not to get it over there but like I said Sometimes you're not really good at it. It happens. That's just the way it is. The main thing is, is to get everything covered. And then wait for that to dry to go to the next color. The next color we'll do is probably going to be yellow. And I like to let the, this color dry before I do that. The finished product will look something like this. Okay, this is what your finished product will look like. After you got it all painted, I still have to do a little bit on the eyes. Um, one clear coated and with its pieces in it is right here. This is all clear coated with its pieces in. So this is what we're trying to get done. Okay, to the next color. See you in a bit. Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, now we're ready to do some of our other colors. We're going to do yellow next. Um, just to remind you, the spots that get yellow are these spots here and all of these spots get white. So we'll mix up a little yellow here and get on with a program. I have my Crystal Lac Universal White Base. I'm going to just put a little bit here on my palette. And I have my number three color boutique. It's yellow. And I'll put a couple drops of this in here. Um, I'm not really concerned about matching the color because it's only for these spots and we'll mix it in and we'll get a nice yellow color here and if I want that little more intense I can add a couple more drops. 
and that'll increase the intensity of the yellow. And that's closer to what I want. So, got my yellow there. I'll take my little brush here and we'll paint in the yellow. And basically it's just trying to stay in the lines. And I'm going to use a bigger brush for the other one. And we'll come back and put a couple coats back on it a little later. Make sure they get really nice yellow color. Okay. Now I'm ready to do white. So i got to clean my brush out a little bit here. So we'll put some water in here. And clean out this brush for the most part so we can use white. Okay, let's get a little bit of white out here. And that looks like a take, guys. Wait for that to dry and then we will go on to assemble, assembling. So, see you back when it's dry.